This shop makes over $30,000 per month in passive income selling printable gift tags, invitations and more. And there are a couple of stores like this on Etsy making bank. So in this tutorial, I'll be taking you step by step on how to start a similar business. The digital product I'll be focusing on would be printable Christmas gift tags. Also, I'll be showing you how to increase your average order value to help you make more sales. So be sure to stick to the end for that bonus tip. In case you're coming across my channel for the first time, my name is Zini and welcome to the second episode of products to sell on Etsy this Q4 and beyond. To understand what I'm talking about, let's check out the store on Etsy. So coming to this store, you could see that they have a couple of Christmas gift tags, printable ones that are currently selling at the very top here. For you to have a bit of an understanding what is selling you could click into one of them and at the very top it's going to tell you how many of these items are in cart and what are people saying about it in terms of review now way for you to understand what is selling and also to understand your demand and competition because if you have been on this channel you would know that i wouldn't recommend anything for you to sell if there is no demand and there is no data backing up to understand what the competition is. And to help me with that is I normally use my favorite research tool ever be. So ever be, I get to install the Chrome extension. And once I click on product analytics it's going to pull in data from the page I am on and give me more insights. Now, since we're already on a single page, what you could do is to click on analyze the listing and it's going to show you this bar by the right and it will tell you how much revenue this is making. It's already making about $468 per month and it will tell you the keywords and what the search volume is. You might look at this amount and say this is a very small amount but don't forget that we're already at the end of September about to get into October and people are going to start looking for these things very fast and these sales are going to ramp up. So you want to be positioned in such a way that you are in front of customers when the sales start coming in. So another way to also look into a whole store analytics is you click on the ever be, click on product analytics. It pulls in all the data on that first page and you could sort in by monthly revenue and it's going to tell you what is selling well in that store, giving you the category, visibility score, and the, and the likes. And you could see that it's selling well within this particular store. Check out Everbee. You could always use the link in the description to be able to use this to do your own product analytics to understand better what to sell and what not to sell on Etsy. Also, when we pull in the data from this particular store and sort by monthly revenue, what you're going to see is that one of their major selling products at the moment would be Christmas invitations. You are beginning to see some form of pattern because these are the types of things that are ramping up in Q4. So just to show you just one last example, you could see how this um, tags look they look very simple this can be created easily with tools like canva so now that we are able to understand what to sell and how to sell them we need to generate our own ideas because even though we are doing research you don't want to copy the stores as it is you want to generate your own ideas so to generate our own ideas we just come into tag gpt and at the very top i typed in 50 christmas scenes that can be placed on a gift tag because basically we want to add some text in combination with a bit of animations or icons for our own gift tags to make us stand out. And ChatGPT has given me a list of 50. So these gift tags, you can create them as many as you want because you want to create more bundles that will help you make sales very easily. So ChatGPT has given us 50 ideas. You could go ahead and generate as much as you want. By the way, if you are, you, you are just knowing about ChatGPT for the first time, it's a chatbot that allows you to generate ideas and is currently for free. Now that we've generated our ideas, the next thing would be for us to generate the graphics that we'll be using to put our designs together. For this tutorial, I'll be using Creative Fabrica. So Creative Fabrica is a website that has over 7 million graphic bundles that you could use to design anything you are selling online. It has commercial license that comes with these bundles. And the very good thing is that you can assess your first 10 graphic bundles for free and you don't have to pay for that. So you could use the link in, in the description below to assess that bundle to make your designs. So once you come into Creative Fabrica, you just at the very top here, you could type in Christmas 
SVGs and it's going to load different SVGs. So depending on what you're looking for, you could look through. So I've gone ahead to find a couple of graphics. So I found these. These look really nice. I found some snowman that I'll be using as well. So once you find the graphic that you like, just click on download and it's going to download automatically to the computer. Next thing will be for us to start putting this design together in Canva. So coming into Canva, the first thing that you need to do is to search for gift tag templates. It's better to use a template and modify it and start from scratch. So what we will do is we'll just type gift tags and we'll select for Christmas and you would see different examples with different shapes. So let's click into this one and see if we can find a one that stands out to us. So this stands out. So once you click into this, you could see other options that it has provided to us. So let's click into this. This looks really good. So the next thing you will need to do is to click customize this template and it's going to open up the template for you. And now that we have this, you could also click on plus and add other templates that you see. So here you will see other templates as well. So this one looks good. So let's just see all. You could see these ones as well. You could add them if that's what you want to create. Let's go back and add another one. So these are the templates that you could use and modify them. So the next thing would be to upload all the graphics that you downloaded from Creative Fabrica. You just click on upload, upload file and select the folders. So I've gone ahead to upload all the graphics that I downloaded. You can see them here. I have a lot of graphics that I can commercially use and play around with. So now that I have my graphics, so the first one would be we would try to modify this because you can't use the graphics from Canva. You would have to put in yours. So I will delete this. And here we could use something that stands out. You could put it this, resize. So you could go ahead and change all these designs. So I'll just go ahead and make the changes. Find value in my content. Kindly hit the like button and the subscribe button. It tells me that you guys like my content and it encourages me to create more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. So I've got ahead to put all this together. As you could see, this looks really cool. And this is obviously a bundle that you'll be selling to your customers and they could use any one they like. Now, if you remember, we generated some ideas using ChatGPT. So those texts, you could use it to generate stuff like this, or you could add it to your own tags. So let me show you an example of what I had done. So I created this, and these are some of the words I got from ChatGPT. So this is another one that you could also sell as a bundle, depending on the color schemes that you are trying to go for. So once this is done, the next thing would be for us to generate a Christmas invitation card. And you might ask why? Why? Because you want to increase your average order value. When people notice that you are selling gift tags in addition with invitation cards or greeting cards for Christmas, it's going to make your listing stand out and it's going to sell more. If you remember when I showed you on Etsy, the store that I showed you was selling multiple things as a bundle as well. For us to create this, you could always go back to Canva home screen and we'll be looking for the time around Christmas invitations. And from here, you're going to choose the particular template that you like, that you want to use. So let's see if we we'll find one that we like. So I found this one and I'll be making some adjustments to it. So you just click on customize this template. And the next thing would be, I would get rid of this background. You could choose to retain it, but I don't want to. I'll use some of the files that I've already uploaded because we want some form of cohesion. Um, to our design. So we'll just put this here. So this is the final design that I've put together. You can see how stunning this looks just with the elements we have already and just Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This looks really nice. So now that we're able to generate the invitations and the tags, how do you package this to sell? So what you could do for things like invitation cards, you just click on share and click on download. This time around, you're downloading it as a PDF. 
So you could say KDF print for the best quality and you'll be selecting CMYK because that is what you want your customers. You want your customers, what they are seeing on the screen to be the same when once the print it on paper or on a card and click on download. So this is what you'll be offering for the invitation cards. So in terms of the gift tags, you could offer it in two ways. You could also click on share and download and choose this as PDF. And remember, it has to be PDF print and choose this as CMYK, best for professional printing and hit download. And when your customer gets it, they're going to cut this out and they're going to print and then cut this out to their liking. Or if you want them to make changes by themselves, the next thing you would do is instead of downloading this as a PDF, you could click on share and change this to anyone with this link and then copy and skills can edit and then copy this link. This link, you will put it in a PDF and share to your customers because your customers can then come in here and make changes as they deem fit. So depending on how you want to sell this. So now that we have generated our designs for both our tags and the um, Christmas greeting cards, the next thing would be for us to package this in such a way that we'll list it on our Etsy store. And it's a very critical point that you represent your designs in using a mock-up. To put our mock-ups together in such a way that our customers will see it and buy, we need to put it in a mock-up and we'll be using the largest mock-up library, Place It by Envato. So Place It has millions of mock-ups that allows you to showcase both your gift tags as well as your Christmas greeting cards. Not just that, you could show you could showcase your designs on plethora of mockups. It has like apparels, digital print on demand products, and the likes. You can even create logos, video mockups as well using Place It. So Place It has some free templates that you could use as well as some templates that you could subscribe to and make payments for. So to put our designs together, you could see I've already searched for some of the designs we'll be looking, we'll be placing some of the mockups we'll be placing our designs on. So I like this. So you could just click on this and it opens up. And one thing about it is like when it opens up, you could see by the side, it has other designs that you could also use as well. So let me just go one step back because I want to open this in another window so I could open multiple. So just click on new tab. And let's look for another one that we really like that we want to showcase as well. So we'll scroll down. So this looks nice. So open this. So this is for the invitations. Then let's look at tags that we want to showcase at tag designs. Click on this, opening a new tab. This is also a tag. We'll just leave this once and we'll would find more. So let's go to the ones that we just opened. So this is the one for the invitation. So for the invitation, you can see that is a thousand by 700 pixels. So what we need to do is our design that we created, we need to reformat it to this size and download it. So let me show you how to do that in Canva. So coming into Canva, this is the design that we want to resize. Just come to resize and then go, go to here and we'll be using a thousand by 700 pixels and you click on copy and resize it's going to open up to a new window and resizes it properly for you but you need to check if your design is sitting properly so let's take this to the end so and the next thing would be to click on share and download this image as a png so once you download it to your computer as a png let's upload it into place it so coming back to place it so go to upload your image, just click on it, upload from device, and then we'll be uploading the design that we just downloaded. All right, so you can see how this looks. This looks really good. So the next thing you'll be just to click on download and it will process the mockup for you. And once it's done processing, you could click on download to download to your computer. I will show you the picture shortly. So let's also do one more. And this, this looks really stunning. So we come into this tag and we'll do the same thing. You can see that the design is 700 by 8,200 pixels. So we go to Canva to do the same thing. 
So coming into Canva, just click on create design and click on custom size, choose 700 by 1200, click on design. It's going to open up. Then we'll be copying some of the designs we have and paste it here. So let's just get our design. So we come in here and paste and then expand. Make sure it covers the whole thing. So we're going to take out this because we don't want to use that. Then you could change the color to the color that you want, like the Greek color that it was before. All right. Then we that, click on download and download. This is our computer and then we would upload it to place it. So here we click on upload. So we're going to upload from the design we have created and click on open and click on crop. It's going to place that design directly. As you can see, this looks really stunning. Another one that I'll show you would be this mock-up. This mock-up looks really good. So let's click on it. I'll click on upload, choose the design, click on crop, and it places it. So one good thing about place it is it gives you control of how the background color would look like. So here we could change the background color to something that we like or something else. As you can see, this looks really really good and you could always click on download and download these images just to show you example of some other ones that i created so this is one so this is the other design that we made you see how beautiful this looks so this also side by side tags as well just to showcase how this looks check out place it you use the link in the description box and you'll be able to bring you to this website where you could also test your designs and generate mockups that you would use for your product just to clarify in terms of how much you are going to pay if you want to use the subscription it charges you about nine dollars per month just to use the entire platform and i could say this is a very good deal because you have access to millions and millions of mockups you could use not just for gift tags or for invitations but for other products as well so once you have all your images generated and all the images downloaded, then it's time to put this together to in your listing on Etsy. For an in-depth step on how to list your product, you could check out this video where I had explained in detail how to create your listings, add the description, the tags, the images, and everything. And it will take you through that whole process. So the final thing I'd like to mention is for you to increase your average order value on Etsy, you would need to create some form of bundles just to allow you to charge more and sell more. So just to show you what I mean or as an example, let's go back to one of the stores that we used at the beginning of this video. You could see that they have some form of bundle, as you can see, here this would increase your average order value and it also help you charge more in case you haven't seen the first episode of products to sell on etsy this q4 check out the video at the top right corner and for other business ideas you could start with the help of ai you could check out the video at the bottom right corner and in case you haven't liked this video yet or subscribed kindly do so turn on your bell notification to know when the next video goes live thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one